Well, I'm in sunny old Brombra. Hey dear viewer, welcome back to the channel for episode 65 of Enfield of Dreams. Coming up in today's video, we are going to Merseyside to play both Liverpool and Everton. Since you were last with me, we have been in some pretty decent form, I would say, if the schedule does want to load, of course. And there it is. So, you would have seen us lose 3-0 at Arsenal in the previous episode. Since then, we've won three games. Two in the Premier League, both by four goals to one. David Osorio getting three goals out of the eight, so not bad at all. Filikovic and Ratched Sad wrap things up over Wolves. Away against Blackburn, we did end up going 1-0 down. But then we came back 3-1 in the first half. And then Kike scoring a beautiful goal in the 73rd minute, which keeps us... Bang in contention for a top 10 finish. And then we have just beaten Southampton 1-0 in the FA Cup. We get through to the fifth, got through to the fifth round where we're going to be playing Aston Villa. Again, certainly winnable, I think, because Villa, I believe, are in the championship. So, um... Not bad. Not bad at all. So, January transfer window has just closed. We have a few new players to show you. Tarek Lamptey has come in from, I think, Fulham. Uh, we paid £8.25 million for him. I think is an absolute steal. He is 28. He is English. Uh, Fulham, 12th in the championship. So, I am more than happy to uh, take him from them. Uh, we have... Even Stanisic, Stanisic, I'm going to go with that. A 21-year-old Serbian comes in as a midfielder and attacking midfielder. Of course, uh, £3.8 million from Partizan. Liverpool were also in, in for this guy as well. I don't know whether he rejected them or... Um, the offer weren't accepted. I really don't know. Uh, Tristan Arangi is a new central midfielder. Bags of potential on this chap. Three-star current ability. Four-and-a-half-star potential. Could hopefully be a bit more if, uh, you know, if a football manager works itself out. But, yeah, I mean, we're in for this guy before, but I wasn't impressed by him. But I am now, so that's uh, not bad at all. Now, you'll see a lot of unhappy players here. Now, that is because I've submitted the squad for the Euro Cup 2 second round and I had to leave out this guy uh, because I had to register Santos because I needed at least two goalkeepers and uh, I think there was I mean I didn't even register Julian and he didn't kick up a fuss but um, yeah I I'm thinking this will this will be a thing that will work itself out but, um, yeah, I'm a little bit concerned about it. But I think everything will be fine. Now, hopefully, if I remember, I would have put before the intro um, a few like little videos or clips of me being actually in Liverpool. Now, um, I'm actually record. Obviously, I'm recording this before I go to Liverpool. So, um, I'm hoping that, you know, that I do take a few pictures or videos or whatever when I'm away. So, they can go in the video. In case we see Anfield or Goodison Park. I have no idea where I'm going in Liverpool. Because I'm not driving. So, um, yeah. We'll see. Hopefully, you would have seen a nice intro uh, to this video. But, um, anyway, let's get into this game. At home to Liverpool, first of all. Now, uh, we're currently 10th in the league. Because of those two awesome results recently, beating Wolves and Blackburn, it's done wonders for our goal difference. It's only minus two now, so uh, I will most definitely take that. 10th place at the minute, 25 games played, 35 points on the board. Not bad. You know, we could... I mean, could we still catch Liverpool? Beating them today would certainly give us a good opportunity to. So here we go. We're going with Santos in goal. A back four of Yukio, Julian, Palmer and Lempty. Angus and Plummer in midfield with Sad, Vidikovic and Kike supporting Osorio up front. Speaking of Osorio, he's wanted by Borussia Dortmund. So, um, yeah, um, I'll admit I'm a little bit mm, about that. Um, seeing as uh, Beck Hansen, has of course, has gone, thank God, uh, seeing he's gone, Asorio is literally the only recognised striker we've got other than Salam Rashid and Kike. But they never really play there. So, um, it's Asorio or no sauce, bro. I don't know. You let me know in the comments if I completely 
completely uh, just ruin that. I probably did, to be perfectly honest. But I did sign an up coming youngster for just short of £10 million. Pounds, um, sent him out on loan to Don Dalk in Ireland. So um, I will show you him uh, probably when he comes back in the summer. And uh, yeah, we'll see if he's the, the, the new Luke Hume going forward. Alright, so we immediately start with a highlight here. So I'm always a bit put off when we start with a highlight because we always tend to concede. And with it being Liverpool, that is probably the case. So it is Ansu Fati slips it into Yep Pez, and of course they score in the opening 50 seconds. Uh, yeah. Just when I thought this defence was actually starting to work out, we go and concede in the opening minute. Now, of course we are against Liverpool, so we still are probably expected to lose. But next season, I really want to start seeing us do a bit better against the bigger teams. Now, I know we've not done too bad so far this season, but I think we need to be doing better. You know, three seasons in the Premier League... Uh, well, two seasons at the moment. Good save there by Santos. And, um, yeah, we're struggling in mid-table at the minute. This is something we're not used to. Mo Salah whips it in. It is cleared by Julian. Oh, that's good block there by Lempty. Now we'll encourage... I'm pretty sure it's safe to say, if we lose this game, I don't think we're getting top seven. Mo Salah's taking a free kick. He'll probably score. Yep. Yeah. I called it. Oh, dear. So, well struck free kick. Santos was just not in the right place there, was he? Yukio heads it as I mean, that was just piss poor again. Yepes just marginally over there. Um, I'm going to berate because that again was just piss poor play. Uh, Santos to Julian. You know, I played the last the uh, last set of fixtures um, up, oh my god again such an awful pass you know I turned my computer on today I played through the fixtures I mean I just picked up from the last video and we're done really well and now we get to recording and we're back to being the same way we were against Arsenal we were, we're awful and yeah this has just not gone to plan so far it is 2-0 so you know, you could say we are, we could still do something, but dreadful performance, and they've got to know that. They have to know that. Could we make any kind of changes? Um, can any? Can you guys like come back? Maybe. What about you? Can you? You can. All right, let's do. You know what? I'm thinking of doing something different here. Something that I don't think I've ever done. Plumber can come off because he's anxious. So we're going to go sort of like a Christmas tree kind of thing. And we're going to bring this guy on. Now, I've never really played with an attacking midfielder much. So... You know what? We're going to do this. Let's try it. Let's just give it a go. That was just one change I made, didn't it? Yeah. So, uh, Ratchet Sad's going to come off for Jensen. And uh, we have a Liverpool throw here. 58 minutes in. I mean, is Alexander Arnold going to pick the ball up? Yes, he is. That's uh, Sander Mass, Ansu Fati. Oh, a good save there by Santos. The defence again, absolutely dreadful defending there. They're just inviting him to attack. Mo Salah with a lovely corner. And again, nice save by Santos. You can't really fault him for either of the goals we conceded.
Oh, it's another good save there by Santos. He gets the ball out to Osorio. Was this our highlight the entire time? I hardly doubt it. But you never know. Osorio whipping down this left-hand side. Whips it in. And Ramos, of course, saves it for Liverpool. And Mo Salah hips it forward. Hips. Angus. Ooh, that looks a little bit over the line from this angle. But, of course, it's not. Be interesting to see if any one of those actually... Uh, counts one time right Palmer to Kike back to Palmer this very well could be our highlight for once Angus to Julian Angus again back to Lempty now it is Palmer on this right hand side cuts it into Stanisic and it's headed cl oh you cheeky buggers come on no yes thank you Angus well done Palmer this might still be our highlight here Lempty lovely ball to oh Angus for Christ's sake that was awful. Right, Palmer picks it back up. Julian, Yukio puts it over the top for Kike. Puts it down very well. Can he get a cross in? He puts it in to Stasic. And he puts it into Osorio who has scored. Come on. It's 2-1. I weren't expecting that to actually count. I thought that might have been offside. But Osorio, take a bow, my man. We are back in this game. Come on. <coughs> And of course, we don't deserve to be. Aranji is going to come on. That is our final change. We are... Come on, get the ball. Come on, Lumpty. <coughs> Another cracking save there by Santos. Keeps us in the game at 1-2. And it is headed clear, I believe, by Aranji. Yepes now. It's still Liverpool. They're still looking likely to uh, go on and score another goal. Right, come on. We've got to, we've got to encourage now. Come on. Right, we're gonna have we're gonna have to attack. Right, we've got three minutes added on time. Can we do something? Unfortunately, not. Damn it. But. <laughs> It, was a, it weren't a great performance by any means at all. We made so many mistakes during that game. But the fact is, we conceded in the first minute. We, it could have been more than a single goal. And uh, yeah, I mean, the overall performance was absolute crap. So th how we managed to only lose 2-1, I don't know. But I mean, we won the second half. Does that count for something? Mm, I don't know. Right, anyway, we've got the other half of Liverpool in Everton coming up next. The chap that uh, we signed on deadline day from uh, Vitesse, Vitesse, I have no idea how you pronounce that. But, um, yeah, I think we might have overpaid for him a little bit. Just short of £10 million, but we have sent him on loan to Dundalk. He does have five-star potential, so that is the pretty much the main reason why we, are, uh, why we signed him. Um, I'm hoping it will prove to be a success. Maybe he doesn't. Uh, maybe he goes back on out on loan again next season, but I guess we'll see. But I'm pretty sure we're ready for this Everton game, so let's just get straight into it. Um, recommending that we don't go to balance. I'm thinking we probably should. Now Everton are in the top six at the moment. Ugh, I don't know what to do now. Um, we go balance. I think we'll. I think we're going to go to balance. And literally, just as I start the recording, a dog starts crying at me. Just licking my finger now. It's weird. Anyway, let's get into this game. More or less the same team. You can see we made a couple of changes. Uh, Stanisic comes in for Vidikovic. One Serbian for another. Uh, let's hope for a better performance and a better result here. Uh, I mean. Defeat against Liverpool was probably expected. 2-1, I mean, yep. But Everton are in the top six at the moment. Um, recently, they were in the top four. So, um, but they have, uh, looks like they've had a wobble recently. So, maybe we can capitalise on that. It would be nice. But um, even without playing, even without scoring, they'll go up to fifth. A win would take them up to fourth. So, they're not out of the Champions League contention yet oh and by the way Aston Villa are not in the championship <laughs> um, they're above us in the league and we actually play them in our next Premier League fixture so yes yeah, that is sick oh it's just over not bad not bad effort <laughs> if 
free kick here. Sad. And again, it's headed over. Oh, uh, sorry, uh, sorry. And it's headed just over. It's two shots we've had off target through highlights. It's now Godfrey. And Everton put it over as well. 25 minutes in, we've had the three highlights. No shots on target. Uh, only the one from us. That's Palmer. I just had a really bad feeling he was going to screw that up then. Right, Tarek Lamptey coming forward now. Puts it across. I say he puts it across to Kike, but he didn't. And now Lamptey is out of position, but Palmer's there to cover him. Goes back to Santos. Santos with an audacious ball out. And Sad somehow manages to get it further up the field. But again, Everton pick it up. And it is them likely to uh, come forward and uh, get a chance and score a goal. It's uh, Maitland Niles now. Wings Calvert Lewin. It's a good save, but it's parried into the path of Matthias. Um, I'm not going to pronounce that name. Kunha? Kunha? Yeah, let's just go with Kunha. Very close to another word, which I will not say on YouTube. Palmer goes back to Santos. It might be time for Kane to come back in goal. Oh, and Kid K's managed to get the ball through to Stasic, and he scores. Ivan Stanisic has scored a goal. Beautifully done. Was and not expecting an instant reply. Nice. We'll most definitely take that. Not bad at all. Literally in the same minute, I think. Now Kike whips it forward. Stanisic with the ball again. Puts the ball to Kike. It's in. It's a Sad. And Sad has scored. And I believe... Oh, I'm not 100% sure. I want to say that's going to count. And it does. Do you look at that? We've turned it round. So they score in the 29th minute, we equalise in the same minute, and we have just taken the lead in the 36th minute. Not bad. <laughs> Not bad. And it's half-time, and it's 2-1 to Enfield Town. Nice. Um, I'm satisfied with the performance so far, mainly because we're winning. Uh, we've had more shots, more shots on target, XG's better. What's not to like? Kike with another free kick, and Osorio heads just over. We have had a few chances in this game, haven't we? <laughs> Alright, Sad coming forward again. Uh, obviously was going to lose the ball there, with three Everton players around him. Now Everton potentially on the attack here again. Calvert-Lewin gets it out to Maitland-Niles on the right-hand side. It is Kunha. Puts it across the box. Oh, and... Uh, could have been better from Everton perspective, but I'm satisfied that it wasn't. And that was a very piss poor throw from Lamptey. And Kunha has scored. That is completely Lamptey on that. What was he doing? He literally throws it straight to him. Oh, and that really frustrates me. Alright, they want Ratched Sad off. <sighs> we got anyone that can come on for him. Got Yeti. Pardon me. Apologies for the yawn. Was headed clear to Kunha. Oh, Osorio manages to get the ball. And he get manages to get it at Angus now. What's Angus going to do? It's with Sad. Osorio gets it back out to Sad on the left-hand side. So I'm like stretching for the dog here as well. Oh, and Osorio can't win it. But it's with Angus now. Oh, what was that? My plumber. Back to Lumpty, to Stanisic, Plummer, lovely ball to Kike, and Kike has scored. Come on, it is 3-2. Come here, you silly guy. No. Right, I got you, I got you, it's okay. Look, we've just gone 3-2 up for a minute. That's it. I know, I love you too, darling. 
apologies about the dog noises in the background. He's quite close to the mic now. Right, proceed with tactical changes. I think so. He's licking my face. Right, it's a throw to Everton. And Yukio with the interception heads it away. But Everton will collect. So over the top for Kunha. Squares it to Ramos. And that is thankfully going to be disallowed. I can pretty much guarantee it. That is going to be disallowed. Ramos was quite clearly offside to me. And goal disallowed. Thank you. Thank you, VAR. Right. Always press him. Always press Kunha. Right. Right. We're going to bring Bessa on for Lempty. And Palmer's going to go out to the right-hand side of defence. And I think we're going to bring Solomon Rashid on. Oh, you're joking me. Everton have literally just equalised again. And it is now 3-3. Oh, what happened? Because obviously I didn't... See, it's from a corner. Right, the dog now wants to get down. Oh. Right, do not bark. I'm trying to do something here, dog. Oh, it's another corner for Everton here. And thankfully, Roberts heads it over. All right, Santos from a goal kick gives it to Besser across to Julian, who whacks it up the field. Manages to get it to Jensen, who gets it to Osorio, but it is intercepted. Kunha put, oh, puts the ball over the top for Calvert Lewin. Calvert Lewin across, and Ramos has scored, and that is going to and that is going to count as well. Oh, come on! It's going to be given. Oh, this depresses me so much. Come on. Oh, come on. Oh, I hate to lose games so late on like that. Oh. Flame infrastrate to me. <sighs> We're never ever gonna succeed if we just can't if we just keep conceding late goals like that. Oh I'm just going to send the assistant. I can't be arsed dealing with that. That frustrates me so much. And with that, we are now 14 points behind Liverpool in 7th place. We're not getting 7th this year. Definitely not. And I've just realised we've literally only travelled to Liverpool once because we're away to Everton and we're at home to Liverpool. So yes, yet again, I made a, a silly mistake there. Uh, kind of a common occurrence with me, isn't it? Oh, literally, I am so frustrated with that. <coughs> I am so frustrated with that. Of course, we're looking ahead to the next video, just to have a quick check on the schedule. Now, I'm not sure how long. It, I'm not sure how long we've got to wait until the draw, but of course, you will find out in the next video who we're playing because we're going to be doing that game at those games because we're going to be playing both legs we'll do the Burnley game off camera and uh, yeah we'll go from there but I mean I'm depressed I'm depressed with how this episode's gone we've only lost by a single go to both Liverpool and Everton but at the same time it's frustrating because we didn't do too bad at Everton and yeah I felt like we deserved a point out of that but yeah, that's just me. So in a very depressed state of mind, thank you very much for watching this video. If you did enjoy it, pop a like on there for me. Make me feel a bit better. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And I will see you again very, very soon. Thank you again for watching. Ciao for now.